Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the Tri Jam 144. I've not played this game jam before, uh, so it should be fun. This is a game jam where people have three hours to make a game, which is a very short amount of time. The theme is Lifeline. I'll be playing each game for a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual games in the description so you can check them out further, and all my info will also be in the description. If you want to support this type of content, consider supporting me on Patreon or following me on Twitter. Let's get into the jam. We're playing harness. Slide up and down. Oh wait, don't use that. Okay. Oh, it's just arrow keys. Got it. Oh. So we can use this to kind of keep ourselves even. Go back up. Oh, I touched the ground. I'm not allowed to touch the ground. Got it. We don't want to go up anymore. We are slowly going down, so. We don't have any down arrows right now. There are only up arrows. I like how you have to cut it with that color string for it to count. I'm not sure what's happened with down arrows. I feel like we used to have down arrows before. Oh no. Oh, if we hit him with the wrong color, it does the opposite. Maybe that's what we were doing before. Unsure, don't I? Oh no, we really need, we really need, we really need it. Ah, oh, next. We're playing Pacifist Monk. Oh, I already, like, there was a description. I'm gonna start it over again. I didn't read anything fast enough. You faithful monk must carry the artifact to the mountain shrine. Do not lose, lost it. It is most important than your life. Do not die either, please. Give me all your possessions, Traveler. You do not have a single weapon nor a single fight ability. You are completely pacifist. Good to know. Game over. Come oh, I needed to pick one of those? Hmm. I don't think this game really tells us what we're meant to do. Finish day. I doubt- okay. I clicked on the rope and then I died. Maybe I have to click on their rope. Ah. Oh, the rogue dropped dead. No, oh, well, I feel like I'm not a pacifist then. I've just killed them. You walk by nature temple, you feel peaceful. Uh, there's a guard executing an old man. I killed the guard. The old man thanks the gods and the villagers help him to flee. Finally, you place the artifact in the mountain shrine. You can rest. Hmm. So you can kind of interact and uh, change what's happening in the world, I guess. It's interesting. Next. We're playing Life in a Line. David's very loud. This is a story about life, line of a green enemy in its 1D world. I'm just gonna load this out. That feels better to me. Alright, so we jump, and then when we have jumped, we're like invisible for a minute. Well, not invisible, but translucent. And that's us in the air. Did it. At first, his steps and jumps were small and neat. I don't know if mine are at all neat. He learned to work and it was funny. I come instantly somehow a boy cube. That's where he learned to work. Sometimes he was so tired he couldn't jump, but he didn't give up. Now we just gotta have patience. It's an interesting game. I like how it tells me I can skip every level as well at the end, that's very silly. Life forced him to take decision decisive steps and hard leaps. Next. We're playing heartbeat. It has to be between zero and three hundred. Press space to be. Alright, so zero and three hundred. So we wanna kind of stay about halfway 
Every other beat is up or down, which is really scaring me. Ah, oh, darn it. That was good though. I like the glow and the amount of like detail and juice there is in this. I keep forgetting if I have a down jump or an up jump. Yeah. It just goes through my mind, you know? Just me trying to get extras at the start. I mean, I feel like we're doing alright. That sounded like a new high score. Oh my goodness. This is really challenging. Ah, oh, darn it. That was a really good score, though. Next. We're playing Spacewalk Arcade. I instantly died, which is why you had to see the title screen there. Rotate with A and D. Change lifeline length. So neither me nor the ship want to die. Can it cross through our rope? Yeah. No. We could actually hit R to restart, my bad. It's a very simple game. Quite an interesting one, though. That is the farthest I can be away from the ship. Oh, that still hit the ship. Oh. Simple game, but everything feels well made. Could have just stayed together here. Yeah. Next. We're playing Life Road. Press L to start. Alright, are we just avoiding everything? Should we grab it? Oh, maybe we have to have an equal. Don't hit the suns though. Got it. So we can hit stuff, but then we should even it out, right? That's the concept here. Actually, we are gaining points when we hit these, so maybe we're not. Feels like it though. I actually missed a couple of characters that I wanted to eat. I'm guessing I'm eating them. Feels like a pretty simple endless runner style game. Yeah, I jumped because I was afraid. Uh, it turns out we're gonna have to jump later on. Interesting. Oh, it's kind of like a dash. Good to know. We can go like way well ahead. It's more red characters. That's fun. Oh, and those like little squares boost us up. Good to know. Next. We're playing Surfline. Clearly I am meant to make sure that this human on the back of my boat doesn't die via rocks. I quite like the graphic style, especially the ocean is very, very lovely looking with the sun and the darker bits. I would love to go on a sunny day tubing in the back of a boat. When I was a kid we used to do it at camp. Obviously there wasn't massive rocks. Um, we used to do it at camp when I went to camp each year and I really enjoyed it. Oh no, I got hit. Ah. Yeah, it's a fairly simple sort of avoiding game. Works well though. Can we, can our tether, like they be on the wrong side? No, I don't know, I'm not good enough to actually test that. Yeah, it can, good to know. Next. We're playing Generation Omega. I've already died once. It might also not be Omega, I don't know at this point. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, Generation 2, I've not got enough stuff for anything. I have money of zero. Oh my goodness. I still have no money. I don't think I'm doing very well. Oh my gosh. How do I do well? 
found spawned basically on top of me. That one was already there. Hmm, I guess my biggest issue is I need money and I don't seem to get a default amount when I die, like even just 10. That would help the game. Oh. <coughs> and now I'm sneezing. Terrible. Oh my god, that enemy was hard. Next. I'm playing zeroed. Alright, so when we're not on the bottom, we start losing health because the bottom is clearly our lifeline, uh, which makes everything a very quick uh, game. I'm not doing well. I need to fall, we need to fall, we need to fall. Alright, we need to like, let our health come back up. That's scary watching your health drain and you know you have to just get back to the bottom. This is a clever concept this whole being on the ground. It makes falling not scary and it kind of rushes you. And you've got to look for these gaps. I think this could go somewhere as like a, a concept. Oh no. Okay. We'll have to reset. Alright. Oh. I'm now rushing because I know that this is a tight one and because I'm rushing I'm doing worse at the game which is something that always happens when people rush. Yeah I died. Next. We're playing fuel and rescue. The instruction of WSD, your fuel life runs out. Okay, touch fire, burn, cool. Get them. We're gonna lose a little bit. That's okay. Just gotta move quickly. Grab people. And hope that we get them all. It's another simple game that's working well. Ah, so at the very top, the fuel isn't affected, which is good to know. So it's only when it's like really hitting the line. I like the music. I think we're doing really good. Yeah. Simple game, but works. <laughs> 